Hello everyone, this is Winnie and welcome back to my channel. I just came back from my Chinese New Year trip to Vancouver and I literally just walked in like five minutes ago. I figured because I didn't do a pack with me video nor did I do a what's in my travel bag video this time, I would unpack with you to show you what I got. For the last part, I'm gonna show you what I have in this bag for like airport. So let's get started. I bought two t-shirts from Rock Shop and the hubby gave me one of his tops from a long time ago that he no longer wears. So the first one is the Canada tee and then the other one is a Doctor Who t-shirt from Rock Shop. So if you've watched my vlog, you know where Rock Shop is because I've included all the address in the videos, in the vlogs. And then this is a sweater the hubby gave me. It is a blue sweater from Louis Vuitton. He doesn't wear it anymore so he gave it to me and it fits so it's perfect. And then I'm just going to do it randomly. I'm not going to categorize the things. So the next thing is this really nice nougat. It's really delicious. I don't know if it's focusing me. It's clear enough. So the next thing is this Prada cosmetic bag that I now use to hold my clean underwear. PJs, heat tech from Uniqlo. This is what kept me warm in the cold weather. This is something that I didn't use. These are my trainers, the Ultra Boost. Because it was too cold, I couldn't go out for a walk or a run. So they were sitting in the suitcase for the whole time. I'll definitely wear them in the sun. Red ones. So if you want to check out my outfits, you can go to my Instagram and soon I'm going to upload a video. I think it's going to be titled Travel Outfit. This is uh, from 2016 resort so this is the soul collection really love this jacket festive colors leggings from tna these are not new these are old from nfs in guest town i bought this kate moss tea pre-loved but in pretty good condition my tripod that i always have with me this red part on the bottom is magnetic, so sometimes I can just secure it on the hood of the trunk so it doesn't fall. So this is really, really good. And this holds the, this part, the top part holds the phone very tightly. The fan spinny, and then I put two Chrome Hearts pins. Toiletry bag. At Winners, I bought this avocado case. So it can fit half an avocado. Like so. So we're definitely gonna use this. And then from Lululemon, I got another pair of on the fly pants. I bought a pair of Raining Chan gloves. Uh, but I gave them to the hubby, so I don't have them here to show you. But then with the gloves, this is basically their shopping bag, so they don't give you plastic bags. So it's, this is like a ni nylon bag. They used to give out cloth bags, but now they're giving nylon bags, and I think it's pretty cool. So uh, it's very light. So this is the nylon bag from the purchase. An extra pair of Uniqlo socks. These two things are from. Costco, Kirkland, unsalted mixed nuts, cashews, almonds, pistachios, pecans. A huge bag, 1.2 kg of pumpkin seeds. So I'm gonna snack on them. This side is all clear. And this divider, I usually keep like receipts, Kleenex. Ziploc bags, masks, um, things like that. So just always get uh, an earplugs. So I keep all these things here. So I'm not gonna take them off. These two things, these are 
drying mats for dishes and uh, we bought two because black ones are pretty hard to find so we got these from winners for $4.99 and then I wore these Levi's wedgie jeans a few times they are super comfortable and I really like the fit and then uh, the hubby gave me a pair of fans socks because he thinks that my socks look really childish another pair of leggings black ones this is the 100 top two MS scarves but only used one only used this one didn't use this one Louis Vuitton coat that I wore in one of the um, outfits and there's some problem here with the sim so I am going to bring it to the store and see if they can fix it Just don't, we don't want to waste the coat and then this is the Wilbert Free sweater from my mother-in-law that I really like, I wore it a few times this time and this striped cashmere top sweater from Monaco I didn't wear because it didn't really go with the Chanel jacket nor did it go with my um, denim jacket that I didn't bring back Oh, there, these are all squished but they will still taste really really good from Bali these are Vietnamese sandwiches I gave a few to my mom and gave a few to my in-laws and took two back so I tasted Taiwanese rice cakes like Chinese India rice cakes for the first time baked baked rice cakes for the first time and it was delicious if you haven't tried it you have to give it a try it's glutinous rice cakes with a layer of red bean paste not too sweet if it's good not too sweet but very soft and chewy uh, just need to reheat it in the oven this one looks a little burnt but i'll see because um the one i tried we finished my mother-in-law she's so nice she got me another one from another store to try these are still frozen these are scallops smoked salmon from costco i'm gonna show you the packaging so it's still frozen so this is one pack and 10 of them in each box this little bag holds my other tripod my charging cable and yeah all the other clasps and stuff like that so nothing interesting yeah and that's it so i'm going to put this suitcase away and bring out the kelly this is the kelly 32 gold on gold and i used it every single day <coughs> sorry and this is what i put inside the bag when i go to the airport uh, first of all i have my passport holder this is a voyage remix this is M from ms so i did a video for this passport holder so i'll put it in the end slate so if you're interested you can click onto that little window to direct you to the video for this little passport holder which i really like and then i have my dogon wallet the gray one which i've yet to do a video for um yeah i'll definitely do it soon and then my carol clutch which is so full that i can't close it i'm going to quickly show you what i have inside this is a little case that i bought for the lens for my phone attachment which i talk about in one of the vlogs um, i like the macro lens and then this other case which is oval i keep my headphones and then i have the charging cable I'm just gonna fish out whatever the bestia coins purse earplugs my ring light 
my brow pencil. And I usually also keep my lipstick inside. This is the Nivea Blackberry Shine that I really like. It's my recent favorite. I can only find this in Singapore, so my cousin helped me buy a few from Singapore. So if you live in Singapore, look for it at Watson's. And if you're from Hong Kong, then you can only find the lighter colors like the pink, uh, the strawberry and the peach. Uh, I don't think um, they're as good as this one, so really like this one. And then what else do I have here? Oh yeah, this is the Osmo Pocket. This is the hobby cam, but he never used it. So it's just sat in my bag for the whole trip. Comment down below if you want the hubby to flog more. But he seems to always be quite excited. I was like, oh, are you gonna flog do this? And he was like, yeah. But then when he's out, he doesn't want to do it. But it's okay, it's fine, no problem. And here's my secondary phone. I actually used the case Apple gave me to hold the secondary phone. This is just my secondary phone. This is, I think, iPhone 7. And then I have a cloth bag to hold the whole bag and some other things like for example a bottle of water or some duty-free stuff when I'm at the airport because I always um, put my handbag in the overhead compartment and I don't want to scratch the bag yeah um, so that's why I always just throw it in and it's convenient if I have a lot of things I just throw everything in and I just carry this bag on my shoulder it's really big and I got this from my mom actually my mom got it from a garage sale as long as it fits your bag and a little more, it's going to be good for traveling. And then the last thing I have here, these are red packets. I always prepare more than I need in case I bump into a friend's kids um, like unexpectedly, I would have red packets for them. Yeah. And that's it. Oh, by the way, this thing I have is really like not really appealing to the eyes, but it's just like cardboard wrapped in magazine pages to place on the bottom of the back. Oh, there are coins here. Canadian and Hong Kong coins. So I think it helps with the structure so it doesn't sag. So that's why I keep it here on the bottom and that's it. So I don't keep anything in the zipper compartment. Sometimes I'll keep my phone in the front slip pockets, uh, but usually I just hold the phone or, or this time I put it in the kangaroo pocket of my hoodie. Yep, yeah. and that's it. That's all for the what's in my travel handbag and unpacking video. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll also go back to the vlogs to link all the addresses and the reviews for the, the restaurants. So if you're interested, you can go back to the videos and rewatch the vlogs and find out the address and the reviews of different places I went to. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you again in my next video. Take care and bye-bye.